Hey everybody, happy Monday, and uh, yeah, I hope that we treat you good. I sort of finished um, one of the miniatures from Nolzer's Marvelous Minis. It is the Displacer Beast. Now I didn't see a whole lot. I didn't see a whole lot of Displacer Beasts painted, so I just thought I would kind of show you how I painted mine. Um, it's not by any means finished at all. But this is kind of how it looks like. So I still got to finish the basing. I got to add some some slabs of uh, slate on there in the grass and kind of put some overgrowth over that. But essentially what I did is I painted the miniature black, including the base. And then with the base, I highlighted. It's an older Citadel paint, but it's called Scorched Brown. Okay, I threw a little bit of ink on that, and then I highlighted it again with scorched brown, and then did a few highlights with a color called bestial brown. Okay, and then for the body, I just painted it black, chaos black or abaddon black if you're using GW paint, just any black will do. Okay, and then as far as the highlights go, I added a little bit of highlights of a color called, I think it's uh, Necron Abyss. It's a foundation paint from GW. It's discontinued. I think they named it Necron Abyss for like that six months where they revamped their paint line and then they revamped it again and changed all the goddamn names around. So there's that, and then um, I went over it with some black ink, um, Nuln Oil or Bedab Black or whatever, and realized it made it look too muddy. And so what I did instead is I went over with a blue ink to kind of bring out some of the blur characteristics. If you look, I mean, first edition, Displacer Beasts are totally black. And the um, you know the second edition, if you look, you'll see you'll see blue highlights. So that's essentially what I was gonna try to capture with that. Um, claws and teeth were basically black as well, and I just kind of did a little bit of uh, bestial brown in there. Worked it up to a snake bite leather, which is a lighter brown. Okay, and then I went over with uh, it's. Uh, let's see, it's called Rotting Flesh, but it's kind of like a greenish white color. Let's see if I can... Oh, there it is. It's it's an older color. And so, that's kind of what that looks like. Very old. I use very old paints. And then I went over with a little bit of white on them. And for the eyes, I just kind of wanted to give them kind of a greenish sort of eyes. I essentially just used that Rotting Flesh on there. I didn't really highlight it yet. Same goes with the little tendrils here. Um, you know, those start off brown with the rotting flesh, which is kind of yellowish brown, and then I just did some white highlights around the edges of it. Um, not a lot of time was invested in this. You know, it was just one of those things where, you know, I had a little bit of time. It was, I mean, these. this would be a great job to do for like a speed painting contest. You know, granted this is, I wouldn't consider this any sort of contest quality as far as miniatures go but I just wanted to let you know just kind of you know what your miniature would look like painted like this so any questions at all regarding the paints let me know um, I use a lot of really old stuff so as you know if the name doesn't transfer over to what you're currently using sorry you know it's just you know I'm not gonna go buy a bunch of four dollar paints just to kind of give you more <laughs> more uh, current names um, but yeah I'm just gonna put some slabs of granite down here on the base I glued it to a I believe it's a 40 millimeter square um, Warhammer fantasy battle base though that's like an old GW base um, so I use squares a lot in my D&D games so yeah I don't really like the round bases so, yep, that's pretty much what I got going on. You can see bits of green in there where I still got the flocking everywhere. I still got to brush this off. I just took it essentially just right out of the uh, the bin of flock after I put the PVA glue on it. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. 
I hope this kind of shows you a little bit what you can do with uh, your Nolzer's Marvelous Mini Line. And uh, yeah, I didn't have a whole lot of time to do a big video today, so that's what I got. So, yeah, peace.